Hi Leo, welcome to your March reading. So we're gonna look at generally what's going on in the month of March, the challenges that you're gonna face, the vibes that you're putting out there. We're gonna look specifically at your area of finance, your love life, whether you're single or coupled. And then we're gonna look at your personal development or kind of like the emotions that you're gonna be going through. And then I'm gonna give you a crystal of the month. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, Leos, in general, what's going on? How are you feeling? What's happening? They're like, not that much to celebrate, it kind of feels like, you know? They're saying like, you. a lot of Leos may have either just uh, left a job or had like a serious breakup kind of a thing. <clears throat> and it's something that's hard to talk about. <laughs> that's clear sentience right there. But what they wanted to say, oh my goodness, it's very hard to talk about for you. Um, so does that mean it's hard for you to move through it? They're like, it's really affected your confidence. It makes you feel unsuccessful um, because this is not something that you wanted to let go of. But maybe you had to let go of it for one reason or another, okay? So there's something in your life, whether that's a job, whether that's a person, um, a circumstance, a situation that you had to walk away from, that you have to, whether it was your choice or not, like... It's something that you need to needed to release, okay, in order to move on to bigger, better things, but it doesn't feel like that right now, and so it's difficult to, to discuss. So your challenges in general are to think about what is it that you actually want, aside from that person or that situation or that circumstance, like not putting a specific thing on it. Like how do you want to feel, okay? What are your vibes that you're putting out? Well, you're putting out very honest and clear and direct vibes, even though you're kind of shielding yourself from um, really expressing yourself verbally. So that's interesting because people don't perceive you to be kind of closed off or anything. It might be avoidance, changing the subject, that kind of a thing. Okay, so that's what's going on in general. And, um, whoa, 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 whoa. So they're saying in regards to thinking about what it is that you actually want now that this thing has ended because we might be a little bit focused on you know, what we did want that now is no longer, they're saying you have to remember, this is a good affirmation for you, I'm a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire into physical reality. But it might come to you in a different way than you expected, okay? So how do you handle this or navigate that situation? And they say stand tall and maintain your dignity no matter what others do, and then you will be treated with the respect that you deserve. But so this is definitely the kind of month where people can drag you into their drama, okay? This is the kind of month where um, people might be instigating things with you, okay? And it's your decision whether you want to engage or not. You know, try to be as mature as possible when you do have to communicate. So let's look at the specifics now. Oh, by the way, I wanted to mention, I've hired some people to take these videos and then kind of condense them to main points in written form. So if there's something in this video and you're like, oh shit, I got to remember that later, that really resonated, or maybe it doesn't resonate for you now and then two weeks down the road it does, you can refer back to that on my website. There's like a little blog page because um, sometimes it's quicker to find things instead of scanning back and forth in a video, you know. Okay, you can screenshot the important things. So... What's up with your finances in general in March for Leo? Finances are going pretty good, although you might not feel very strong in that. Now, why is it that your feeling is different? And they're like, oh, just because you have to be patient to wait for the seeds that you planted to pay off. It's like you've put a lot of effort and energy into something and it's just going to take some time and you don't really have the ability to, to speed that up or to like necessarily see how the benefits of those things are going to pay off for you because they are down the road. It is a longer term kind of energy. So what they're saying is you're intentionally blinded from seeing that and the reason why spirit does that is because right now you've got to focus on figuring out how to move past the energies of whatever it is that you've let go of, okay? Now, what is your challenge 
And they're saying to, to really boost up that Leo confidence that you're so famous for having. To be able to attract goodness and wonderful things into your life. And so they're saying that the reason why is because looking at your sacral chakra, there is a fear of this change. There's a fear of what's next. But sometimes when we can't see what's next, it's something even more beautiful or wonderful than we expected. And so we have to adopt that mindset. And so they're saying, I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. You don't know what's coming down the road. When Oprah was born in like a tiny shack with a dirt floor, there's no way that she could have known that she would grow up to be, you know, like one of the wealthiest, most powerful and influential women in the world. Okay, so change doesn't have to, it is scary because it's unknown. We don't know what's coming next, but we can trust the universe. We can trust God. We can trust Allah. We can trust our angels that whatever's coming next is beautiful and that we're well supported. Okay, so um, what is the best way to sort of find that trust? And they're saying expressing yourself through music. You know, like singing at the top of your lungs in your car, going out on a Friday or Saturday and just dancing, you know, to your heart's content. Now, as I say that, it's five minutes and 45 seconds into the recording, which is a number message saying that with a five, yeah, disharmony, discord, discomfort, like all of these things are happening, but in order to create more stability for you, they're like challenges were, will always come up, but there's always something positive that we learn or we grow from within that challenge should we choose to release it. Should we take it and reframe it as a good thing, as a lesson learned and put it in the past, okay? So this, um, this energy for your finances in general is, is it's like things things could be worse, you know? So let's express some gratitude for the things that don't suck because there are blessings financially that are coming for you, but it's about being open to receive those and kind of just trusting the universe. Um, now, as I say that, they say for some of you, like that concept of not being able to see it is going to be very hard. For others of you, it's letting go. Whatever the circumstance was, you know, maybe you got fired from a job and it doesn't seem or feel like a blessing right now, but it's only creating an opportunity for you to launch your own business, which will be wildly successful, but it takes work and time and patience, or it could be, you know, like a new opportunity comes. This could be letting go of a person whose vibration was dragging down your ability to succeed. It could be anything like that. And they're like, so for a lot of you, it's really, really hard to let go of things but you have to do that this month because blessings are coming for you, okay? Now, in regards to your love life, if you are a single Leo, what's up? Um, so you may be around some people who are deceptive or they, yeah, I'm kind of getting like deceptive. Like you're kind of attracting people who are liars and you're looking to find something more stable, okay? But the thing is, is that the enthusiasm to go out and find somebody new when what you've experienced is maybe somebody who, this could be with that seven of swords in reverse energy, it could be like somebody who steals your heart and then runs away. <laughs> or it could be somebody who is like a narcissist and abused you and they lied to you all the time and took advantage of your kindness. It could be, um, you know, you're attracting people who just want you for sex. It could be anything like that. So. So with all these shady people that you've encountered or you've experienced, you know, in your past, and maybe that's what you need to let go of, what it's saying is it doesn't give you a ton of enthusiasm to go out and find something new. And that's because we have this fear that whatever we find is going to be very similar because that's what we know. That's what we're used to now, okay? And so they're saying you're not using your third eye, though, when you're looking at partners. You, you're just not. You've got to try to open up that third eye and really go with your gut instinct straight out the gate. What they're saying is you can accomplish whatever you want as long as you put your mind to it. If you want to be in a long-term, solid, married relationship with somebody, you definitely can find that, but you have to take the steps in order to find it. And so what is your overall guidance in regards to that? And they're saying, again, music is going to be so healing for you. Um, if you speak Spanish... There is an artist named Samo, S-A-M-O, who put out an album, I think it's called Inevitable, maybe, but 
best, best, best album in regards to this kind of situation for you. I don't think that it's available in English. I don't think he's done any crossovers. But whatever kind of music that you're into, that will definitely help you. And this could even be playing an instrument or, like I said previously, you know, singing at the top of your lungs in your car, um, whatever. Maybe you could just go to Pandora or Spotify or something and just pick something. But music will definitely be very healing for you in the month of March. Um, if you are a coupled Leo, what's up? Oh, you know what? I forgot to mention for single Leos, what kind of vibes are you putting out there to potential suitors? And they're saying that you're not really happy. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Because you keep attracting bullshit people or people who move too slow in a relationship and maybe because they don't know what they want. And so they're saying you've got to try to flip that, that you're looking at relationships as investments. If somebody doesn't add value to your life, they can't stay in your life. That's just how it is in the month of March, okay? Because you're waiting for somebody to come into your life and make your life happier and better and more stable and calm and peaceful. And if, there, if anybody that you're attracting into your life is going to cause drama and wreak havoc on it, bye, bitch. That's how it goes in March. Okay, so for those of you who are coupled, what's up? They're saying don't be nitpicky with your partner. Um, the details are not important. The big picture is. And this is how you're going to get exactly what you want from your partner. Okay? Now, what is it that you might be facing as far as challenges with your partner in the month of March for coupled Leos? And they're saying um, you just might not be feeling super confident, you know? And um, they're saying remember how much your partner appreciates you even if they're not doing an awesome job of telling you how much they appreciate you, okay? Um, for whatever reason, and this is going to depend on your partner's zodiac sign as well, but for whatever reason, they just might not be doing the best job of really letting you know how important you are to them. And so your self-esteem is kind of going like, hmm. But, you know, if, if they're not doing the best job with that, and if you're not going to nitpick them about it, mention it once. Okay, and then kind of back off, be like, you know what, I really just need to feel more prioritized. And then they would be like, okay, <laughs> hopefully, if they want to argue with you about it, well, then that's a whole different story. There's more to look at there within your relationship. But, but anyway, that's kind of where you want to go with that. And so they're saying, yeah, you're just not your normal Leo self who's like totally in control and feeling confident and radiant. But that doesn't depend on your partner to make you feel that way. It depends on you to make you feel that way. So positive affirmations would be good, anything like that. They're saying, again, communication chasms with your partner could happen. Okay, so what kind of vibes are you putting out to your partner aside from that? And they're like, just, you know, like, you might have some some hurt feelings or something like that. Maybe maybe they hurt you, maybe somebody else hurt you, but, but you seem hurt or wounded. You don't seem like your strong, furious Leo self, okay? And so what is your guidance in regards to that? And they're saying, take time to listen compassionately, though, to what they have to say, too. Because there might be something that they're saying, and you're not necessarily taking it as something, you know, warm and uplifting. But the message behind what they're verbally expressing to you might be something of deep love and support. Okay? So, um, emotionally in general, what's up for Leos? Or what's up with your personal development? And they're saying you just feel like things aren't moving forward and it's so frustrating. And they're like, this is going to, especially like in regards to work or finance as well, they're like, your finances are going to be okay or more stable or better than you imagined they are. Um, you're making a mountain out of a molehill. Essentially, you know what, the things that you needed to leave in the past, you needed to do that. And while you don't love that feeling right now, it is so important. They're saying don't worry about things because worry only negates the universe's ability to give us the gifts that it's trying to give us. It's like throwing walls up saying, nope, I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want that. So if you can try to like, you know, shift your perspective every time that you notice you're having a negative thought or feeling about something, then you will be more inclined to get through this energy a little bit faster. They're saying you have to be courageous and just know that everything's going to work out, you know? They're saying you have to find your inner strength and face your fears with confidence. Now, 
this inner inner strength is going to come from spirit. Okay, this is coming. That's why your third eye needs to be decalcified. That's why you need to open it up. Maybe a third eye chakra uh, meditation would be good because you have a lot of fear. Okay, like your sacral chakra might be kind of screwed up right now. But the way, if if it's too impossible to just take this fear and eliminate it, or maybe that's just not enough. Okay, we need to be filled up with this positive knowing that the future will be okay. Um, that comes through the third eye. So do the sacral chakra first um, and then the third eye chakra because that knowingness, not knowing how things are going to go, but that they will be okay is very important. And I would actually encourage you to think about it. Every single catastrophic event in your life, right? It felt like it wasn't going to be okay, but you're still here now. So it was okay, okay? And that's never going to change. You might have years of struggle. You might be homeless for three or four years, but then you might be a billionaire in year five and six. You don't know. And so you have to like kind of just put that trust out to the universe that good things will happen for you if you believe that they will, okay? But to live in that negativity, that's how you're going to stay here in that shitty situation forever and not letting go of people and situations that suck and mindsets that suck. Okay, so... All of that is going to culminate now into talking about your crystal of the month. So with the crystal of the month, um, you have red jasper, okay? Now, if you get this from me, you'll get both a, a raw form and a polished form. Some people say that with, with crystal healing stones and things like that, that it doesn't matter if they are raw or if they're polished and it's personal preference. Like having your stones polished doesn't necessarily negate the effect that they have. Um, and that's probably true. But for me, I am a little bit superstitious about like probably everything. So I prefer the raw ones. But it but like, for example, some people put stones in their bra, I would not want to put something like with a sharp edge into my bra and slice my tits. So you might want to use a red one or a polished red jasper one instead for that kind of situation. So what does this stone do in general and how is it going to help you? Well, it protects you and it totally eliminates negative energies, okay? Um, it will help you to be more spiritual. If you put these underneath your pillow, it will help with dream recall, which is maybe where you're going to get some of these messages through your third eye and how you're going to feel more encouraged because sleep does help us to heal. Our angels work on us as we're sleeping. So it helps you with um, being honest with yourself. It will help you create relationships that are mutually beneficial, which is the point. Right? That's what we were talking about, especially for single Leos. If somebody doesn't add value to your life, they are just not for you in the month of March, okay? Um, it gives you courage, determination, will, all key words of what we were going to see here in the reading. And the interesting thing is I pull these stones out way before I do the readings. I pulled these out in the end of February and so I could take pictures of them and stuff and post them on my website. And... It was, and I don't know what the reading is going to be until I sit down and do it right here. And it's just like totally clear. So it does a lot of more other stuff. Um, and you can find that out, you know, if you grab these. But my point is, is um, if you get these from me, you will get a series, like a series of crystal, how to use your crystal, how to cleanse them, how to charge them videos that Patreon subscribers only have access to. And then you will also get with this like a full printout on all the spiritual, emotional health benefits, how to care for it, the angels associated to it. Um, it'll also tell you like for your physical health, what they help with. Um, one thing is it's like helps your, your circulation and things like that. Um, it really anchors all the energies in your body, which might be a little bit challenging to do on your own in the month of March when we have Pisces and everything where it's like energies go in in every which direction. So if you're interested, um, I've got these on terriblyaccurate.com. There's a link in the description box below. There's also a link to that new blog. And then there's also a link to, there's a link to like fucking everything there. <laughs> Love you. See you soon.
Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20 minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!